dear students today we will start the first poem of your book the first flight and the name of the poem is dust of snow and this poem is being written by robert frost and i'm sure you are quite familiar with this poet robert frost as you've already read a poem in your ninth standard also and the name of the poem was the road not taken fine now uh, the road not taken uh, was a poem which dealt with a, a very simple theme that how one decision changes your life and in the same way this poem also deals with a small incident and it shows that how that small incident can bring a big change in your life now let's start the poem the way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day i had rued now first of all let's take the title of the poem dust of snow now what do you mean by the word dust over here what is the meaning of the word dust the word dust means not just sand it means brushing off brushing off or throwing the dust or something now here the poet says that the way a crow shook down on me means the poet says that a crow had come and sat on a tree and when he sat there on the tree that caused a movement in the branch of the tree and the snow laden branch out of that snow laden branch the snow fell onto the poet now if we take crow fine this crow and the hemlock tree why has the poet taken crow and hemlock hemlock as an example why i am sure you all know that crow represent a, a bad omen and what's a hemlock hemlock is also a tree which has white colored poisonous flowers now why has the poet taken this crow and a hemlock tree as an example he says on this particular day i was feeling very sad and depressed and what did he do he said on that particular day when i was feeling very sad and depressed i sat under a hemlock tree he sat under the hemlock tree and the way a crow shook down on me a crow came there sat on a snow laden branch of a tree and when he sat there it caused certain movement in the tree and the poet who was sitting under the tree the snow fell onto the poet and uh, so he says that this small incident of a crow shaking throwing showering this snow over him brought a change in his heart this small small incident has given his heart a change of mood he says has given my heart a change of mood his mood was changed because of the shaking of the snow by the crow and he says and saved some part of a day i had rude rude means he is wasted he has not done something productive something useful so he says the first part of the day 
on which I had been feeling very sad and depressed and had wasted my day. But the day that was left, it was changed into a productive one, a happy one. Why? Because the crow had come there on the tree, had shaken a snow laden branch and that snow fell onto the poet and the poet who was feeling very sad and depressed throughout the day felt that there was some change of mood in his uh, heart and he felt a little light. He was no longer sad and depressed. So he says, and saved some part of a day I had rewed. Rewed means wasted. So he says, some part of the day that was left that was not wasted by that small incident of the crow shaking the snow laden branch. Okay, now let's come to the poetic devices used in the poem. So it says, the way a crow shook down on me, the dust of snow from a hemlock tree. Do you see any punctuation mark over here? The poem started with this first word, the, and it ended here to the last word, root. So what poetic device is this? This poetic device is known as enjambment. Fine. It is known as enjambment. Enjambment means when the poet starts a sentence and he does not use any punctuation mark in between and it continues maybe to the next line or to the second or the third line then that poetic device is known as enjambment. Fine? So the poetic device used here is enjambment. And now the rhyme scheme. What is the rhyme scheme? Here the word crow rhymes with the word snow. And me rhymes with the word tree. So the poetic devices used here, uh, the rhyme scheme used here is A, B, fine, A, B, A, B and here heart, mood, part, root. So it is heart, it is C and mood it is D because heart rhymes with part. So it is C and mood rhymes with root. So it is D. So the rhyme scheme is A B A B C D C D. Now there is another poetic device that is alliteration. Alliteration is has heart. So the poetic device used here is alliteration. So I hope you have understood the poem. So what basically uh, the poet wants to say is that even a small incident can bring a big change in our life.